Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. So from the thumbnail, you get to know about the topic of today's video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that how much coding skill you need to survive in different IITs and IISC during your MTech. And this is a very common question among all the aspirants who are preparing for GATE and who are planning to do their higher studies from different IITs and ISC that how much coding skill you have to build to do well in your MTech days. And even I, I have, I have, you know, received questions from different aspirants. They are saying that my coding skill is not that good. So should I prepare for my coding as well as my grade preparation um, parallelly so that, you know, I can build a good coding skill also whenever I'll be joining my MTech. So that's why, you know, I thought let's, uh, you know, talk about this particular topic because this is a common issue among many students, not only from the computer science background, from different other backgrounds also, because people from different backgrounds, they want to move to computer science and specifically AI or machine learning domain. So that's why they often used to ask me that, sir, how much coding skill is needed to, you know, do well in these domains. And so that's why I thought let's share my thoughts and let's discuss in this uh, in this topic in detail. So in this video, I'm going to discuss it in details. So please do watch the video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. Now, how much coding skill you need during your MTech? It has two perspectives. So, first one is that how much coding skill you need to do well in MTech curriculum, that is different courses that you'll be taking or the MTech project that you have to do. So, how much coding skill is needed there to do well on all of those things? And second thing is from the placement perspective, that how good your coding skill has to be to do well in the placement activity and have a pretty good job. Now, let's discuss first the first one that how much coding skill you need to do well in MTech curriculum. So, as you all know, MTech is a specialization based uh, you know, curriculum or coursework where you know you have to work on a particular direction or particular domain and you have to be specialized on that particular domain so based on whatever you know direction you are choosing or whatever you know specialization domain you are choosing your coding skill will differ so so as you know in computer science there are broadly three you know kind of domain that is one is theoretical computer science one is system and the next one is ai or machine learning or intelligent system so suppose if you are interested in theoretical machine learning then you don't need that much coding because theoretical machine learning subjects like algorithm cryptography all of those subjects it's, it's more of, you know, proving the theorems and reading theorems and, you know, uh, mathematical reasoning behind, behind that theorem. So all of those things are much important rather than coding. So that's why if you are interested in doing work on theoretical machine learning, you should focus more on the, your fundamental mathematical knowledge rather than, you know, doing well in the coding. Next, if you want to work in system domain, uh, that means subjects related to OS, uh, compiler design, computer architecture. So all, all, all of these domains domains if you are interested in then you need a lot of coding skill and you need to do a rigorous coding uh, during your mtech because you know these subjects uh, require a lot of coding skill and and sometimes you have to do even the system level coding like you have to do changes on operating system uh, you know changes on compiler and maybe you have to design new operating system new compiler as a part of your mtech project so if you are interested to work in system level uh, things then your coding skill is needed and preferably they they like to work on c and c plus plus because these are the most compatible coding language uh, with the system level coding so that's why you have to be very good in these two particular you know language that c and c plus plus finally the third domain that is intelligent system or ai or machine learning uh, if you are if you are if you are interested to work in this domain uh, as a part of computer science mtech or if you are doing your specialization on ai only so then you need a decent amount of coding uh, to sustain in this particular domain you don't need that much rigorous coding as you need in system and specifically you know there are some framework that you have to be very good at that is like tensorflow pytorch so these are the frameworks are there uh, in machine learning domain nowadays where using this framework you can easily build you know some some mathematical model or machine learning model so that's why you have to be very good in one of these frameworks and the basic coding language that you need to understand that is python so this is needed to do well in ai or machine learning domain so next is from the placement perspective that how much coding skill you need to do well in the placement 
but that depends on which kind of role you are looking for so suppose you are looking for a software development profile or hd role in any of the big you know product based companies like amazon google flipkart this kind of company if you are targeting a for your hd role then you have to be very good in your competitive coding skill because as a as a software developer so these companies will test your programming skill as well as your knowledge in data structure and algorithm so they will they will take your rigorous interview maybe 2 3 rounds interview of this coding skill and data structure algorithm you know skill so you have to be very good on these three things data structure algorithm and uh, coding skill of any language so they want you know they want force you to do coding on a particular language whatever language you want to choose you can choose in the interview but you your your logic has to be very very good your you know analytical power they will be checking that how you will you you will you will approach the particular problem and how you 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 will use your algorithmic skill to solve the particular problem so that's why you have to be very good uh, in in your competitive coding uh, if you are looking for a sd role in different product based companies next is if you are interested to work on system level uh, companies like intel amd samsung you know um, like hp who who is to work on system level things like os compiler networking these areas so then you have to be very good in system level programming like as i was saying for system uh, domain that you have to you have to do changes on compiler os memory these kind of things and you have to be very good in c and c++ because these are the two most compatible languages for system level coding so that's why if you are looking for these kind of profile like system architecture hardware engineer kind of profile in these uh, these companies then you have to be very well in the system level programming and they will check your c and c++ skill during your interview finally if you are looking for a data scientist profile so as i was saying in ai machine learning you don't need that much of coding skill but yeah for the placement perspective you need to do a decent amount of uh, competitive coding like not at, as much as needed for hd but yeah you have to practice the moderate level competitive coding questions like questions from dynamic programming greedy divide and conquer so all of those paradigms you need to know and you have to practice few you know easy and moderate level question uh, for data scientist profile because in data scientist um, role also company used to conduct a coding round where they will check your basic coding skill though that won't you know these skill won't be required as much during your job life but yeah they will just check how much uh, you know how much uh, skill you have from the algorithm or programming skills perspective so that it will give you a basic uh, you know they will just check your basic knowledge on on this topic so you have to just prepare for few things uh, before the before the interview so that you know you will be easily able to crack this round when you should start preparing for your coding skill and whether you should practice your competitive coding alongside gate preparation or not so this is one question many people have asked me and their main concern is they are not good at coding so whether they should start you know practicing coding parallel with the gate preparation so that you know within one year they'll be good in coding also and whenever they'll be joining iits and isc then they'll be in a better position to handle the you know pressure of coding skill but i personally don't recommend you to do these things because you know your first priority should be to crack the gate with a pretty good gate score or gate rank and you know ensure you you are you are placed in different in any iits or isc for your mtech because until unless you have a good gate rank then this coding skill of no use right so that's why you know your focus should be fully on the gate preparation and you shouldn't waste time now behind your coding skill because coding is not needed as part of your gate syllabus so that is not there in your gate syllabus computer science there is a coding part is there but that is pseudo coding like from the from the pseudo code you have to you have to give the answer so that is completely analytical skill uh, you need you don't need to write any syntax there and for other stream there is no coding at all so that's why i'm saying that if you your your first you know first priority has to be on the on the on the gate you have to make sure that you have a pretty good gate uh, gate score and you shouldn't waste any time now behind the coding uh, coding preparation now once your gate is done you you have done with your gate you have a pretty good gate score then you have enough time to prepare for the uh, coding uh, coding skill so like your your uh, you know gate exam will be done by february first week or second week and if you if you do well in 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 your gate so your mtech admission will happen during july so whatever you know four five months is there between february to july that time you have to utilize fully for your 
you know coding coding preparation or competitive coding practice so that time you don't have to you don't have to worry about anything else you will applying in different iits and isc and uh, your 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 you know admission process will be going on so that time you have to utilize uh, for your for your coding skill like if you practice every day couple of questions so then that time phase is sufficient to build up good coding skill so you shouldn't focus you shouldn't think of coding now so as of now you should focus more of the of your of your gate preparation so try to have a pretty pretty good uh, preparation for the gate and try to first crack the gate exam and then focus on the on the coding part because if you can't crack as i was saying if you can't crack the gate so then this coding preparation of is of no use so that's why i suggest you first prepare for the gate exam try to crack it and then whatever time is left uh, before your admission uh, prepare for the competitive coding and those six months will be sufficient for having a pretty good uh, preparation for your coding skill Finally, I will share one of my personal experience. So I was uh, working when I was working in ISRO and before that also when I was working in TCS and Accenture. So I used to work on Java or .NET. So I, I, I have never, you know, done any coding on Python before coming to IISC. And, you know, I have never practiced also a single bit of code uh, before coming to IISC. And once I joined IISC in different courses, I used to get uh, different assignments on Python, specifically on AI machine learning domain, I used to get assignments from Python. And while working on those assignments, while solving those assignments, doing mini projects and all, my coding skill on python gradually developed so it's not like that that you know if you don't know any language or if you don't know coding skill you you will, will not be able to you know kind of do well in in iis so you can you can keep it up uh, within few months just having a uh, few 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 codes just for practicing it for for few few uh, few days or you know doing some assignments on that particular particular programming languages so you'll be able to able to do well also so don't take it as a as a as a pressure or you know kind of burden on yourself that you are you are not do not good in coding so that is just a two three months practice if you if you just practice it for two three months or if you just solve few of the assignments of a particular subject you, you will be very good on a particular programming languages so that's why i'm saying that now your focus should be fully on the gate preparation because that is a you know a tougher challenge in front of you rather than doing well in the coding so coding eventually you'll be learning as a part of your mtech curriculum so even i have seen many people in in during my uh, mtech days in isc they are not at all good in uh, at all good in com competitive coding but you know eventually wh while solving different uh, assignments and all so they developed it so that is coding is not at all an issue your focus should be more on the gate uh, gate preparation because that is even a tougher challenge uh, than preparing for the coding yeah that's it that's it about the today's topic so it's all about coding skill how much it is needed in different iits and isc and i've tried my best to discuss about it that how much coding skill you need uh, in your mtech curriculum how much coding skill is need to do well in the placement and when you should prepare for it that you shouldn't waste any time now if you're preparing for gate first crack the gate exam and then you you should focus on the on the on the coding part because you will have enough time to prepare for it so i hope this video will be helpful for all of you uh, gate aspirants uh, who have also the similar kind of confusion whether you should prepare for coding also alongside gate preparation or not so i hope you like it and if you like it please hit the like button and share this video with many other people so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel again i am saying please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye